you uh, bought a new 3D printer and for some reason this 3D printer after several prints isn't working anymore. Did you do anything wrong? Did you press a button and for some reason the screen doesn't pop on and it stays blank or black or lit up but without the graphics well maybe you should try these three things before doing anything else like throwing your printer out of the window because you are all fed up well in this video i'm going to show you those three things here on sakuri's 3d prints Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Well, I have this issue and I did solve it and my and the 3 Pro from Creality is printing several prints after I solved the issue. But how can you solve it? Because what happened on my 3D printer can happen to all of the 3D printers or most 3D printers. For Creality, I found this solution very helpful and maybe also sharing it with you can help you as well to get back into 3D printing again with your Ender 3 Pro or maybe some other 3D printers. Well, here are several things you can do to solve the issue. First thing that you are going to do is first checking the ribbon cable. Is it still connected to the backside of the display? Check the ribbon cable on the side where the display is because that is the most easiest one to maybe get a little bit disconnected. But since the light was on, it means it will get some power somehow, some way. So on the back side of the display, there are three connectors where the ribbon cable can get connected to. And since you did install the display on the Creality Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro, you put the connector on the back side. Maybe it is flipped, maybe it is switched in the wrong one, but since you were able to print, I guess it is in the right connector and make sure to press it firmly inside and check if it is the most right side right above the base from the 3D printer. If you switch on the 3D printer and the screen still lights up without any graphical showing to you, maybe you should check the side of the controller board. That is the second option that you can try out for seeing if you can get this screen to working again. Well, on the controller board side, that is the side where your USB connector is located and the micro SD card is going into. On the top side, you have a little screw that you need to unscrew. Switch the printer on its side and unscrew the two small screws on the front from the 3D printer and the one that is a little bit longer located in the middle of the 3D printer. Once those screws are removed, you can remove the cover but be aware of the wires from the mainboard fan so that you don't rip the cable out of its socket or you are breaking anything. The ribbon cable is very colorful and the socket with the connector is protected with some hot glue. Make sure that if you are going to check the connector, make sure to press the connector very firmly. Check also the hot glue. Maybe you have to remove it, maybe you don't, but check if it is loose. If it is loose, you can just pull it away and check once more again if the connector is fully inserted into the socket from the display port. Once that is done, put the uh, cover from the mainboard back, screw the screws back in and try out to turn on the 3D printer. If the screen isn't still working, just let up without any graphical things, we are going the firmware route. That is the third thing you can try. You are going to the website of Creality. On the right hand side, you have a button or tab called support. There you go for the firmware. For the firmware, there are several options. You need to follow the, the one for the Creality Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, Ender 3 V2 and the Ender 3 Max. In my case, I, I'm using the Creality Ender 3 Pro version, but if you have a different kind of 3D print and you have this issue, go to the manufacturer's website, check for the uh, firmware or the, the downloads for this 3D printer. If the supplier doesn't have it or if the manufacturer doesn't have any support for firmware, reach out to them on Twitter, on Facebook or any other social media and check if there is a possibility to do a firmware update for your 3D printer. Because most of the time for your firmware, uh, for the mainboard firmware update, it also helps to solve any issues for the display. When you are going to do this, 
please follow these steps and I will show you right away how to do that. So this is the page of the Creality and the 3 Pro in my case. If you are going to download, you have to make sure that you are checking your board. You can have the Ender 3 V4.2.2 and 4.2.7 or in my case the 4.2.2 GD mcu because if you click on it you will get this and you need to check your board if you click on here example you will find this information that you need to check which is located just next to the brand from creality with the version on it and check which kind of engraving you have on the chip because that determines which kind of version you are going to need. So in my case, I need to download this one. You click on it, then you, you choose downloads or you double click on it and then you are going to download it and put it on your SD card. Once the SD card is inserted in the Creality Ender 3 Pro, we switch on the 3D printer. At one moment, the screen will light up without any graphical thing to show you. Don't be afraid, it will take a couple of seconds until the whole firmware which is on the SD card is loaded onto the printer. Once that is done and suddenly, ploof, the screen comes back on. So now you can try out if everything is as it's supposed to be, checking the, the settings, checking if you can preheat, if everything is functioning as it's supposed to do. If you are still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. Did you know that? There are several ways to support this channel. I have a Patreon site, link is in the description. You can also, you know, do YouTube memberships and your name is going to be added here or maybe here. I don't know where it is actually going to be. There is also a thanks button where you can support me just one time. And if you don't want to support this channel financially, hey, that is okay. There's also other ways like liking this video, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet. There's a bell so that you get notifications and you don't miss out on any of the videos. If you like gaming and gameplay, there's another channel called Easy Zack. I post there almost every week a video about Minecraft gameplay or some other gameplay. I'm so into the Minecraft gameplay that at this moment you will only see Minecraft gameplay there. And also I have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash Zagary's World. I stream there every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Sometimes a little bonus day I will stream there as well. So hey, go on Twitch and check me out there as well. If you made it this far, you are amazing and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.